Our main problem as policymakers, but also as researchers, is that we haven't had in the past consistent data on government revenues. And government revenues are, of course, central to funding public expenditures. In order to meet the financing needs of the Sustainable Development Goals, you can't just rely on external finance. Increasingly, countries have to look to domestic taxes from all their sources because they have very large spending needs on human development, on education, on health, on job creation. All of this is expensive, and aid and private finance simply cannot do the job. The Government Revenue Database offers the prospects for policymakers to take a really hard look at their own revenue systems. Governments can benchmark themselves against comparable countries and it gives you a sense of are you progressing in terms of mobilising more tax revenue or do you need to try harder on your VAT or your corporate tax or your taxation of mining. Unuwider um, has now in-house expertise to work on this data. Uh, the data comes from many different sources including existing databases but one problem is often the data is not consistent between the sources. So we've been trying to introduce some consistency. Uh, we've also been trying to fill in some of the data gaps. In a democracy, citizens are taxpayers and they want to know what their money is being used for. But they also want to know where are all the taxes coming from? Are they coming from VAT? Are mining companies being taxed enough? Uh, have we got good corporate taxes? So this kind of information really underpins the democratic contract between a government and its citizens. We are publicising this as widely as we can. Uh, we want to see more governments and more policymakers using the database and more availability of the information uh, through the wider website. And we hope over time it will become the sort of gold standard for governments to look at as they think about their own tax reforms.